So we're gonna go over to no, not that one. The Revel Revel Wood Fast Travel. So we're gonna go to this tower. Diadwin is right there, so we're gonna set the waypoint for Diadwin. It's we're gonna go to the Revel Wood Tower. <clears throat> and this is this is one of the reasons I recommend uh, this spell right here, this Eternal Light Burst. I love this spell because it's fast. It might not do a whole lot of damage, but when you're clearing the small little groups of enemies, it's awesome. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. And Diadwin is right over here, so we're going to glide down. I like Diadwin because it's a good spot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you as soon as I get there. Right through the trees, come down, you repair. We got all these boars. Let's round them up. Get all these boars coming at us. Let's get you bones, meat, fur. See how easy it is to cheese the monsters in this game? Like, there's no challenge at all. Light burst. See that? How easy that was. Simple. And now, we can loot all these piggies. Get meat, fur, bones. If any of them have bones on. Oh, see, there's a bone. I like this spot for this kind of farming because then you can set a flame altar on the outside so it, so everything here respawns. Or you can just keep, you know... Um, using that tower and dropping down on it so you don't really need to set a flame altar here but you can but if you do you got to set it on the outside somewhere so the so everything here respawns but then you got these over here you get some indigo flax plant fibers but then also a ton of see the beehives honey is great highly recommend always having honey <coughs> See that? Tons of honey. This is just a nice little easy spot to farm. So if you're not really that powerful or you just, you know, want to do some simple farming, this is a good spot. And if you do, one of the things where, I mean, I know it's right here somewhere. There's, I know there's got to be some hay around here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. So if you set a flame altar down and then extinguish it after, set the flame altar. I just destroyed the hay, but anyways, um, I don't have any stone. I wanted to show you what I was talking about, but you can set a flame altar like right here, come in here to the hay, because you can't loot the hay without the flame altar being here, but if you put a flame altar down, you can loot this, the straw, straw, hay, whatever, I mean, this stuff. You set a flame altar down, you can loot it. And then you can destroy the flame altar, extinguish it, let the town reset, come back in here, and farm this over and over, and you'll get all that you need. So it's a very good spot to farm. You got your animals, you get your meat, which the food, you always want food. Um, and the, the, these create good food for you. You get your fur, your bones, you get some plants, your honey. Like, this is just a very nice spot to do some farming. It doesn't take long to pile up on everything you need from this little area. And if you have something like Fireball, you can just destroy the whole thing in town and then loot all the wood logs, too. So go around, loot everything you want to loot first, and then destroy everything else and loot the wood logs. And if you drop a flame altar down, then you can loot the building material. I want to show you that. I'm going to need to get some stone. Um, I don't see a good spot for some stone. 
Oh yeah, then those plants. See, this is another thing. Get some of these guys around here, loot some poison sacks. Like, this is just a really nice spot to do some farming. Let's just show you this real quick. Okay. Now we can craft a flame altar. Craft flame altar. Instead of me just telling you, I'll just show you. <clears throat> Since it's a video, and that's kind of the point of a video, right? So we're going to drop that down. <clears throat> drop the flame altar. <clears throat> now, when we dismantle that straw, see? We get to loot it. Loot it. See? Now we got some straw to craft with. And then, you can do this. I like to do the, uh, the, the four, what is that, the four meter? One, yeah, one meter, whatever, this key, the bigger one. And then you can dismantle the buildings, seeing you're looting refined wood blocks from here. And that one's right on the edge, so I can't quite do that. But, if the flame altar was over just a little bit, I'd be able to do the same thing to this building and loot that building material as well. So this is a nice little easy spot to farm all kinds of materials, especially early on. And then we're going to extinguish the flame, which take 30 seconds, so the area will reset. Leave the area, come back, loot it again, or you can exit the game. You know, I'll show you that in my last video. You can just exit the game and come back in. Um, go to the main menu, log back in, and everything will be reset. And you can come back in and just farm it over and over and over until you have all the materials that you need for whatever you need it for. So yeah, there's some easy farming right there. And then the next one I want to show you is... The, <clears throat> the next one I want to show you is uh, easy metal scrap farming. So I'm going to stop this video here and I'm going to make a new video just to show you how to farm some metal scraps. Because there's a much easier way to get metal scraps than just killing the enemies that have them. So that'll be the next video. So like, subscribe, comment. Um, I would appreciate it a lot. And keep an eye open for my next video. Thanks, bye.